Okay, hi guys, sorry we missed a week. Um, <laughs> in between health issues and a bad phone, um, <laughs> we, we got it sorted, but I'll, uh, I'm back from this week and we'll get straight into it with the review that we have for the week. And the review is Scrumbles. So, let's dive right in. For medium sized dog, well any sized dog really, I wouldn't probably recommend for the larger breeds. These might end up being a bit too small for the medium sized breeds that I've got here. These are absolutely perfect. New company, or relatively new. I've been given the chance to try their Scrumbles Adult and Senior Chicken. They've given me a 2 gram packet to try. Dogs have really enjoyed it. It is a complete food, so you don't need to add anything else. But all they need is what is in this packet here. So I'll just go with, go through the stuff on the back for you. So we've got 60% chicken. That is a big amount of protein. Then you've got um, that is then broken down into 33% freshly prepared chicken, 23% dehydrated chicken, and 2.8% chicken fat, 1.4% chicken liver. So it's a lot of chicken, including chicken innards which is obviously what you'd do if you fed raw. Then you've got 90% brown rice, so a filler, 13.5% oats, another filler, um, 3.6 alfalfa, which is another filler, um, 1.4 salmon oil, which is great for dogs' coats, in general, keeping them nice and shiny, and for skin health. So that is, that's obviously great to see. Uh, linseed, minerals, vitamins and carrot. I would have thought carrot would have been higher up as it's a vegetable, but they seem to be going straight to the meat, the rice and the oats. Do you have to go right in front of the camera? So also on the back of the packet, it said they've declared a war on bad poos. In our search to solve our pet's tummy troubles, we found good health starts in the gut. Hence the extra probiotics that they've added in the nutritional additive section. So that is a big long list, including vitamin A, vitamin D3, vitamin E, copper sulfate, iron sulfate, zinc oxide, uh, iodine, gut flora stabilizers, which is slightly bolded in the text there, and antioxidants. I can't say that in the foods that I have um, reviewed so far, I've seen any gut flora stabilizers. So that's the first of the dog foods so far that have come, come with that. They stand firmly against any extra added sugars, salt, or artificial flavorings. Also good. The biscuits, as you saw, weren't colored which is another thing I really don't like. Colours are just, uh, just bad, bad, bad. The biscuits actually smell quite pleasant, like a, um, a chicken sort of thyme, roasted thyme sort of dish. I know there's no thyme in there, but it's almost something you, you cooked up in the kitchen. Some biscuits really put you off actually putting them out. She smells quite good. So, okay. so the dogs have been on the biscuits uh, for this morning and this evening, and I've had clean bowls every single time. 
I know my dogs and um, they are foodies. It clearly worked and they clearly enjoyed it. As they have said that they've added in all the, the gut flora and the, um, the probiotics helped with the with the poo situation, I have noticed that their poos have been fine even though I have swapped them straight onto these biscuits from what they were eating before, just to test the theory. I would be very happy to give these biscuits and scrumbles a... what do you reckon, Coke? Very happy to give scrumbles a 4 out of 5, what do you reckon? And once you're done with the packet, you can recycle the entirety of this, which is great. All good things for the dogs and all good things for the planet. So on the back of the packet here, it mentions that obviously they've added in all the um, good things for the gut, making sure that they um, are working towards helping those dogs with sensitive stomachs. They've squeezed in 1 billion live bacteria to aid digestion support the immune system and help form solid poos. My dogs have never had a problem with poos. We've been feeding them on raw since they were puppies and I will continue to do so once we're out of lockdown. Okay, so you've got two reasons why um, Scrumbles has a four out of five. Um, first off is the alfalfa, the rice and the oats. Do you need all three? That was the first one and the second one was the calorie count and the amount that you're meant to be feeding. Obviously I would obviously keep an eye on my dogs, check their weight and monitor it as they eat their food, as I do anyway. Um, <clears throat> but if you were to be feeding the correct amount for Nyx for one meal it's a thousand calories. Now as he's an older boy I need weight off of him, not on him. So, calorie wise, I'd be a bit concerned and I'll probably be feeding him less, but I haven't actually tried it. I've only been feeding my dogs what they would actually be feeding normally and I've gone on what I know and what they're used to. The rest of the food seems to be standing out on its own with the gut friendly probiotics, the um, anti, where is it, the antioxidants, the, the load of chicken from uh, free range chickens that's gently, gently cooked to lock in all the flavours and, and um, we were also given to try one of their wet foods, the size of the bowl were lit clean. So as far as the food goes and as far as the dog's enjoyment of the food, it's a big thumbs up all around, they loved it. As far as the ingredients that have gone into the food, it's a big thumbs up all around. I would only suggest that more veg was probably added so that they're getting a, a wider variety of, of vegetables in their diet and cutting out maybe some of the of the bulk of the alfalfa of the of the extra stuff that you would add in to sort of fill out um the the fiber intake but other than that i would i would quite happily recommend this brand if your dog has sensitive stomachs uh, i've also noticed they do a range of different flavors different um different age ranges and the price of the food is great so it's not going to break the bike. Don't forget to subscribe for me somewhere down there, I think. And I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.